Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthlies. So this is July. It's actually starting June 21st to July 20th. It's covering the uh, Cancer passage. So I have shuffled it already. So let's see. Oops, bottoms of your decks. You have Ace of Swords and you have Lovers inversed and King of Swords. Hmm. And let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Was there a breakup? Scorpio, was there a decision where you decided to move out of some kind of situation where you didn't feel unity with this person? King of Swords can talk about legal process, literally, paperwork, etc. And you see it's going from a king to one. There is something starting and something is kind of like this is getting to know the truth. Or it could be kind of like there was some kind of shakedown in your life where you were reassessing what kind of needs you have and this this could be controlling king but kind of like looking deep down inside of yourself it says let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so let's see really how this plays out so what do you have here is finances and career Huh. Reconciliation, true love, free yourself in the past, pay your attention to the red flags, passion, religious factors, aka marriage, express your love, give your relationship a chance, and engagement. Okay, so we have this let go of control issues. So let me see what story we get over here. All right, Scorpio, you are all over the place. I see cups here. I see cups here. Again, I have like this wedding card so let's start like i mean for quite a few past readings i think ever since i started this youtube channel like i mean end of january you were holding on to something or somebody trying to fight for your relationship so it says in the past free yourself it was time to take back control of your life and some of you did get out of relationship. Those of you who did get out when I told it is a time to move on and claim your life. It's like a karmic karma is being resolved. For those of you who didn't get out, you are actually most likely damaging your karma. Being defensive, trying to kind of like figure out what position can you take. And I, and I do understand, like, I mean, we all want to fight for our relationships, but I was told that I don't understand Scorpios. I actually do understand Scorpios very well because I'm double cusp and my ascendant is a cusp of Libra and Scorpio. So I do go into Scorpio really deeply and even in um, Vedic astrology. I'm a Scorpio and this is actually why I know Scorpio very well and it helps that absolutely all my friends um, from childhood are Scorpios my mother is a Scorpio so I live with you guys all my life and I have to give it to you go really really deep into issues so this is it like this is kind of like not water this is fire and you were completely out of your element look at this kitty like this kitty is like fighting that kind of like was you Scorpio like you kind of had to get out of the water in the fire and you were willing to do anything that needed to do you see fighting for your love and looking things from a different perspective the hangman actually is self-imposed punishment but it's also kind of inactivity there is nothing you can do in a situation so 
even though you're defensive and you're fighting for love things were not changing things were stagnating the only thing that was changing was how you are approaching the matter you see true love but then you have knave of chalices this is the romance of a lifetime knave of chalices talks about rejection or offer has been placed on a table kind of like this is also something that you're still dealing with processing you're really fighting for this true love <sighs> see was it possible was there a third person guys you see the issue i think you have is like you cannot reach disclosure you for some reason you guys are very stubborn to start with because you're a fixed sign so you cannot let go but then you are getting this devil card right the devil card is card of bondage right so being chained to something that is not right also when i see this card it's always telling me that there is another person lingering or it's a matter that is like really there so you're not resolving the matter you are just going to your goal you're just like you know you want this you want this you want this you're not realizing there are actually other issues that have to be um, nurtured here or maybe you do realize because these two cards did come later so now i'm having this the death sorry the the, the devil card reversed is actually a little bit better it's you're all kind of aware of the situation so this is telling me maybe something has been rejected uh that you know has been brewing for a while it could have uh fingers of somebody else in the situation and you know this is a closure card this is a card of whether you got the truth or not whether you got the apology or not whether you insisted to find out what was happening under your nose as you can see the minds are taking a whole bunch of things over here you're kind of realizing the certain situation was very unhealthy situation for you and yes, that maybe you are like alone in, in this loving feeling. And maybe that with that enormous passion that you have, because this is also passion, it can also talk about a sexual passion, you, that you are holding maybe other person to you, because that's the psychic energy and sort of like, you're liter literally kind of holding them with the lasso, so they also cannot move on. And ultimately karmically this is a push and pull so you have to figure out the balance in between that so you are also dealing with finances and career and financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and then you have like 10 of wands reversed so certain things are not a burden anymore so this is really good then is moving to the next stage kind of like figuring out you see he has like 10 wands on his back and wands also sometimes can indicate dragging issues kind of like along the way right so picking one here picking one there and all of a sudden like i'm in a straw that broke camel's back so here it's realizing that really you're not that omnipotent and that you have to kind of figure out what you can take on and you're kind of like taking care of the necessaries so you're having finances and career but then you have like seven of cups reversed so that's yet another kitty that is like so you have sevens where always the cats are sleeping as you can tell and living their own world and oblivious of what's going on so this is kind of even though you're understanding there's like still some kind of fantasy going on about us and you're living a fantasy and this means that some deception will be revealed and some secrets will be coming out or maybe you're going to find out that somebody was especially for those of you couples you may have find out that um there was a leak in your finances somewhere and you're going to find what that leak was whether it was somebody taking it from you or you kept paying for some kind of services that you're not using anymore so that's going to come to the surface so this is being cross reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life however this person is really depressed 
This could be you willing to get reconciliation or waiting for somebody to come back. And this could be also you being really depressed. You see, somebody is juggling, and that could be that because I saw the third person here. And, and basically what's happening is like, this is not going forward because you're going you're getting six of ones reverse so it's it's not a winning situation it's not a situation you can win better to say and it's kind of exhausting like it's kind of also dropping balls or somebody else is dropping a ball and kind of like rendering you feeling kind of uncomfortable in this whole process so what is crowning you here pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you a knave of swords either you or somebody here is kind of trying to get to the truth again we are seeing this what's going on here and this also can mean that you're trying to figure out sideline kind of like sideways ways of dealing and finding this truth out you see kind of like trying to even go and find this out intuitively which could be you're going deep inside of yourself or you're hiring a tarot reader or a psychic and trying to figure out this also however can indicate children and can indicate a situation you're finding yourself is a situation where nobody won where kind of or it feels that your kids lost and that's why you probably have the six of wands here as well because the, the the pages are talking about somebody younger even though they are talking about also growth so what is right in front of you so right it's a push and pull it's i think it's the theme of this month for all signs push and pull it's going to be a really interesting month passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy obviously you're still having this true love you're having a you have passion but look there is like ace of pentacles reversed it's it's like not building it kind of like somebody is removing things brick by brick right because you need the ace of pentacles and ace of chalices to build a concrete relationship and the both of them have to be upright and look it's the third party that messed up it, it's just like one of them goes off and everything collapses right so you have those when you build a house you have those static walls and if you even touch that wall ever the, the entire house collapse and that's how they detonate the house see again it's going back and forth and almost looks to me that you're not paying attention to what or somebody's not paying attention to what the other party is saying you you're just going through everything you want to get your um, knight in the shining armor or, or your lady you know in distress you're guided by this passion this enormous passion that you scorpio have but you're being hurt it's kind of like almost like you're causing yourself yourself issues and, and you're becoming or somebody's becoming very manipulative especially those of you who are married or in long-term relationships because religious factors aka marriage it says your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual paths and then you have king of chalices who is extremely controlling king emotionally this is the person who is going to be the most romantic person you can meet who's going to tell you absolutely everything you're going to think this person probably just was written down from your fantasy just to find out this was the story of the moment and it could be that you are becoming that way or it could be that you have faced like person like this and in, in um, again the third party um yeah the third party and this is like the end of the relationship it's the person yeah who's telling you everything that's like oh no we are happy we are like so joyful but he's forgetting to tell you that he's also happy with or she's also happy with somebody else and hence uh, this whole relationship marriage union is falling apart right and also this tells me that maybe you're kind of feeling embarrassed about this entire situation that this is kind of like getting out of hand this can be like really bad manipulation and again like i'm seeing third party everywhere so 
it does look like that this partner is not giving up and outside forces you are still expressing your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture you're still asking proposing marriage this is hierophant uh, you're still saying we are meant to be together you can have a good life with me let's continue let's build this right this is the card of teamwork and building a new me and the children and the person says no i don't want this marriage i got burned I don't want this union, right? 19 reverse, the sun reversed. I don't want it. And this is your card. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And then it says it would have to be transformed into something else. It has to die. Maybe something else will be born out of it. But the way it is, it's not going to continue. And yet, you want it to continue the way it is, and there are like obviously problems galore that need to be addressed. And this is basically saying, Scorpio, that this is now senseless suffering, that this is not worth it. It's simply not worth it. You have to ask yourself, I mean, I keep asking you the same question, and I do understand that you want it, but what if they don't want it? See, being stuck, trying to find a way out, trying to find this way of fear. Like you are spending lots of time thinking through it. This is like really, this is your card, but it's upside down. So you, you possibly are going through the worst possible fears. You're trying to put a brave face on the outside, but oh my gosh, you are tormented. There's like the seven of the chariot when it's reversed, it talks about issues that, that you are deeming as immoral or something has happened or certain things didn't progress. Um, maybe there were traveling plans that didn't happen and it's coming back. It's coming back or being stuck in a spot. So engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this is possible trajectory for this month. But then again, Knight of Pentacles, just like most signs, going forward one step, going backward one step, winning a few battles, but then in the end, everybody loses. When I see Knight of Pentacles reversed, it tells me there will be some kind of financial dealings and learning about something about creation of the new foundation. It is a test, however, when knights are being sent to battle, they are not sent to stay. They are not really sent to even fight. They are sent to show power. They are sent to represent the king. So you actually don't want a knight. Knight is a dating guy who just comes and he goes home. You really want a king. You want somebody who stays, right? You see, you actually I either will or will try to make somebody make a decision. And this is kind of like analysis paralysis kind of situation where you really think it's or somebody thinks it's better to make any decision than not to make decision. And it's going to be lots of communication and lots of talk about that and lots of talk how to go forward because somebody is not comfortable going forward. Somebody still has the issues and some things are not going forward. So this whole proposal of engagement will be actually, engagement is like going to the next level, trying to kind of ascend. But here it, it, it keeps going through the same thing. It kind of like starts conversation and the other person says, no, no, I don't want it. Well, I do want it. And it is going back and forth all the time. I really think that the key here are the kids that your Scorpio are fighting for your children because if you don't have children absolutely you have to let go so I'm going to go to the next phase right now which is going to be Lenormand and then after Lenormand I'm going to do Gypsy Spread so we're going to see a little bit more definition of the same situation or maybe we are going to get more uh, storylines so let's see if there are Scorpios with different storylines here as well because this is really cleaning the things. Somebody stepping out. Somebody is not 
like I mean this is the card the devil card is kind of like crucial over here and you have both death and devil the only card that kind of like would be still matching in equal kind of like blackness would be ten of um, swords luckily it didn't come out so so some healing is taking place but literally you're like neglecting your own needs Scorpio to to win something but then again nobody's winning in the end keep keep coming to the same spot so let's see the next reading I'm going to clean the cards and put them on the table so you don't have to like wait five minutes for me to do that all right so what do we have here this is kind of interesting because you have the cross the heart the sun so you had religious factors there that kind of like would be equivalent of that and again dealing with garment institutions and something kind of nagging so there are two significators the lady and the gentleman and either of them can be you so it's obviously something like it's the same kind of trajectory in fact it's something from the past that you guys have been loyal to and looks like it was this marriage and you were expecting this communication instead you just realize it's a whole bunch of secrets here behind this and there is like this crossroad that kind of like you almost are forced into taking right it's something that he created he created this ending he kind of like put these things to the end and just came as a shock to you right and it could be children involved again in this and there is a child with you it could be some kind of trip for some of you you see there is like situation which is like full of fog you know he holds that resolution or a partner holds this resolution in their hands and kind of like they're being you have the snake and the fox around that and they made this whole issue unsurmountable and you see kind of like you're also crossing in the sky which kind of like talks about something is being cut off so we are not seeing this is like i mean peak preview for basically end of july you definitely want to put your anchor down with this person you, you absolutely want to but this person wants to cut something off or something will happen if you guys are going to travel together or meet somewhere like i mean one of the partners wants to go forward the other partner it just like they just want to kind of get their agenda accomplished and kind of muddy your eyes and sort of like it looks to me that the partner here is with another partner one of the partners is another partner um there is like respect for motherhood here or fatherhood and sort of like that is functioning well but one partner does not want to settle down because we have the clouds and anchor and this means this is not happening it's between the whip as well so this whole kind of thing is being taken off the table so I really don't see that much here but this is kind of interesting this ship over here so this is some kind of communication for sure and this is what I've seen over there kind of it's that's remember that, that manipulation which I thought it was you but you could be the one manipulated so let me go and check chips spread and we can see what else we can find there because here the last four cards which i usually look as sort of like a key of the spread and i also look where is the key card located which is over here next to finances and next to death so that kind of tells me okay this is the flavor something is ending that financial communication happiness is ending right these are kind of bouquet is also happiness and clever is happiness and these are all right next to coffin and i think right and it's also next to tower which is government and marriage so for some of you that already ended and maybe it was not officially ended but for some for the others have been but you are still working with mm -hmm. with kind of issues that are like 
echoing from the situation from before. So anyway, let me go and see uh, Gypsy Spread and put it on. This is like now lots of cards and I plug you back in. Alrighty, so the two cards that always are two extras uh, to me are, they are significant because they are the bottom of your deck. So you have wedding reversed and thought. So that's basically talking about that impasse talking about that hanged man that you had over there sort of like it's really nothing you can do it's it's that stalemate situation so how is this gypsy kind of like done i'm going to read a few scenarios here because there are quite a few of you so young woman can be a significator the wife is significator lord generally represents a married guy or involved guy then you have sweetheart, which kind of indicates single women, and lover, which indicates single men. And then again, we can have other people like Servicio and Servicia, which are here. So let me give you like this few storylines and see where we go. So couples, it could have been a breakup. So for couples, it's good to see both single and and couple kind of like views here it looks like it was a couple with a child it was an issue of some kind of pride and it could be that somebody who was a friend yours his or your partners that messed the things up somebody who your partner knew for quite a long time who kind of like was not necessarily waiting because you have a waiting in priest but sort of was in contact was in contact because it's kind of strange combination because friend is also crossing in love over here with him and you are looking at it and kind of like you're very sad about that and this is where everything started falling apart and some secrets are to come out you see you're still looking at this person as enemy of your love right and lies and you see the communication it was happening as as issue this is like you are feeling tormented with this you still in spite of this you're calling for a reunion a reconciliation and he doesn't want to hear about this or or it's not renegotiated and it is rotating over some other person who kind of affected your home life who this is jealousy but the jealousy ended up badly he also feels that something has been stolen from him something that started and it's kind of a bizarre thing because there was this person who is still very present in your head, but for him, that person is a history. Something did not take off. There were some kind of lies over here, Scorpio. Somebody had some kind of lies which kind of created issues. It, it was the end of the story. Oh my gosh, something huge has happened in his past huge or some people would say huge and i think whoever if your partner cheated let me see did he cheat where is my pleasure seeker there yeah i think the partner partner helped themselves with too much happiness yeah there you go then this person left your left that partner as well so i think he's trying to come to his senses as well i think to some on some level he wants to come back with you he kind of understand it could be solution and there is like this thinking about it so this could indicate a therapy but also you have the prison and the child and this like cheerfulness reversed and even the widow reversed and another enemy so it's like he like there is no intimacy guys 
this is nothing is happening on, on that level there is like this lingering like you see the enemy and foe male and female enemy it could be on both ends or could be two different people and it could be that this is like he is seeing or like your partner is seeing that person's enemy and you are seeing so it's the same person from two different angles and this person just stepped in messed your household up and took off and kind of like that didn't service this person and kind of like didn't care about the turmoil that has been left but now let's see this from a situation of the single people here we have the lover and so this i guess can be you male or female it doesn't matter so there is again it was a situation that kind of like was hopeless and that is ending or ended or is ending and you are heavily relying on your friends there is this love and and it could be kind of like a relationship that has been doomed from the beginning that just couldn't realize it could be that somebody was unavailable it could be that kind of like two people seen each other recognized each other soulmate but the life and things and a wife and a steady girlfriend or somebody they have a child with kind of didn't want to go along with that plan and pragmatic things life got in the way it's just like life is what happens when you make other plans and kind of everything went upside down it could be that this person like kind of caused all this turmoil and there is definitely love over here but this person could have pushed somebody out of their union because like it could be the person who kind of was a friend but at some point i see this person kind of put divorce or somebody break up in motion and it didn't work out or it did work out because the love is there but then there's a sorrow and melancholy so it was like sorrow and joyfulness right next to it so something ended but this person kind of like started to recover and kind of like for them that was dead it looks like they call it off it could be okay this is what could be that one person here was playing everybody in this whole scenario and giving everybody whatever they want to hear whatever kind of like serve this person like in this moment and that i think is the most kind of the easiest explanation they say it is like all can razor the usually the simplest explanation is the right one because they see this person and then yet the other person also is uh, the other storyline here is like again somebody's recovering from a breakup from something that felt really good something that was a third party something that involved marriage possibly and children in any house somehow there was like somebody was unavailable and in this case could be the right timing because here like you have misfortune with this significator and with this significator we have fortune reverse which comes to the same and it's again stealing something it was uh, the situation here scorpio was a mess please tell me what what was this, this all about because look there is like this stagnation over here so what's going to happen like even these parties involved are also feeling those like i mean shock waves of this third party like it looks like everybody here is hurt and everybody that's what we saw there this five of swords reverse this is a situation where everybody is suffering and i don't think anybody will win because look every single significator is reversed nobody's feeling them themselves there are all these huge emotional things over here um where is doctor where is doctor is anybody getting better let me see where is doctor Thief, nip. Hmm. There it is, doctor. Okay, so single Scorpios are slowly healing, slowly healing, but again, they cannot reach disclosure because of the third party. They're like still going through. Look, there is like no communication with this person. So if you guys are in a relationship and you want to get your partner back and you're wondering if he's with somebody else, no, he's not, but he also doesn't want to be with you. 
he doesn't want to be with the other person, but the other person doesn't want to be with them. So you can just imagine here, it's, it's a total mess. So they are like lusting over the other person, but they don't want to be with them because they got rejected. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh, the grassy high school. And nobody is really being responsible here. I think I saw, yeah, constancy here, which would be the card that would indicate, okay, like, you know what, focus on, focus on the facts, focus on children, and putting your food on the table, and we can make it together. No, that's not important. That's kind of like somebody doesn't even care. And somebody even is willing to serve lies just to kind of like get out in the situation. So let me take um, a card, advice card for you, Scorpio, for this month sort of like to see all these three readings together and what is the best path to go because I guess you just really don't want to let go so check this out winter solstice reflection so what is winter solstice it's it's usually the shortest day in the entire year right it is when it is like 21st of December in the northern hemisphere right then i think 21st of the 23rd of june in the southern it's a midpoint of winter right it's also the longest night right so that's where kind of like we have all these festivals of night and it's a big deal at the four o'clock in the afternoon it's already dark it's kind of weird so here we see this like really tranquil image of kind of like reflection of the trees on the frozen lake and that to me means it's a time to go inside it's especially for your Scorpio deep you really want to go deep it's kind of try to find a physical shelter and internal world so this is what the card says review the past year and ask yourself what the most important lessons you have had to learn are what you have accomplished and what the dreams and visions you want to manifest in the upcoming year whether it has been a relatively smooth ride or a challenging series of events acknowledge your experience as being the work of source no matter what your judgments fears or joys are honor whatever has happened over the previous several months with gratitude and forgiveness then let it go allow yourself some solitude so you can spend some quiet slow time in reflection once you feel complete reflect on your present life especially focusing on what you're grateful for when you're finished consider what is to come all the different possibilities and potential that exist before you allow your imagination to roam without limitation or ambition and see what shows up Notice how you feel in your body with whatever scenario plays out in your mind. These are previews of what is just stating and you can manifest and grow when cared for properly. Patience and stillness is called for here for just as the earth cycles have their own pace, so does the cycle. And guess what? The days are getting longer and warmer from this point on. So Scorpio, it is time to let go. You need to heal. You need to go deep inside of yourself and look for the answers. Again, this is a general reading, guys. This might not apply on you. And if you really want me to review your personal situation and check your own karma, please contact me via my website for the private reading. Thanks. I love you.